Um, here in this uh, uh, tutorial, we have we want to study the effect of um, particle size and uh, volume, temperature, pressure on um, properties of the ideal gas. So now let's start with the uh, uh, particles. So uh, now we have two particles. We can we have heavy particles or and light particles. So let's start to study the effect of the particle size on the um, uh, other parameters or especially the pressure so we can fix the temperature why we fix the temperature to ensure that both particles have the same kinetic energy and as you know um, when the kinetic energy is constant when temperature is constant the kinetic energy will be constant and in this case heavy molecules uh, will travel slower than the light uh, the lighter species and accordingly heavy species will have less pressure than the light species too let's try this now uh, we have a heavy species let's for example give 500 okay 500 species now check this on the pressure as you can see here the pressure is almost around um, 0 0.8 0 0.9 one atmospheric so it's ranged around one atmospheric okay let's do the same for uh, light species so we'll make heavy species zero and make light species 500 sorry 500 so then now the light species acquire more kinetic energy due to the temperature and the, um, it has more collision and this leads to higher pressure as you can see okay now let's check the effect of uh, volume so now we'll make constant parameter none okay and let's check the volume so we'll decrease and please notice the pressure gauge so now when decrease the pressure increase and when decrease the pressure decrease so when the volume increase the pressure decrease and when the volume decrease the pressure increase okay uh, now let's do one more thing let's study the effect of heat okay so let's add some uh, heat okay and also notice the pressure so we add heat here as you can see the pressure increase okay okay now uh, let's do one more thing so just I want to decrease put some ice to decrease the pressure again and temperature again okay uh, now let's study the effect of diffusivity okay so now we have here uh, around 474 light species so when I open the lid they will start escape okay now notice the number of a species but if I decrease so decrease the heat now the diffusion become less okay so now decreasing more and more and more until I notice the um, thermometer 13 Kelvin 12 Kelvin so now the kinetic energy almost become a less so uh, there is no diffusion for the particles okay now let's try to uh, put some heat and after putting some heat we'll also put some pressure and see the number of um, gases uh, species in the container so now see uh, now 3 Kelvin okay so almost almost there is no 
movement until it reaches zero Kelvin. So you will find that no kinetic energy and the particles are constant. Okay. Now let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, test the effect of heat on the collision. Okay. Now I will put some heat. So now particles acquire more heat. Kinetic energy increased. Their movement increased, and their diffusion as well will increase. Now, as you can notice here, the kinetic energy and their movement in the path increases as well. Now, some species will be lost from here. Now notice the number here, it will become less. So number, the light species decreases, okay? Uh, notice become now it's become a uh, movement become very quick and the number of species become very less now decreases due to the kinetic energy so particles diffuse very part uh, very quickly under the effect of temperature now we can also add some pressure Okay, so pressure also decreases the notice here. Let's put heat. So see the number decrease. So all particles have diffused out. Now, as you can see, the pressure is almost constant because I, uh, I had opened the lid. But if the lid is closed, so the pressure uh, let's see what will happen okay if i close the lid let's close the lid okay and put around 500 speech okay okay so now the pressure increased and due to the pressure the lid will be uh, get out so now let's uh, let's add some uh, heat and see what will happen so particles will force the lid to move out okay so uh, this is the uh, tutorial if a uh, very effective way to see the effect of volume pressure heat on the particles hope you find it useful and thank you so much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah